Hello students, welcome to Tutti Tutti. So for the TS Genco examination, we have very less time. So in this less time, some students are asking about some subjects. Okay, so like basic electrical engineering, electrical and electronic measurements for the electronic students and for the mechanical students. Okay, what you have to prepare? So whether they will give which areas like that they are asking. So I will give you the details. Okay, so some of the concepts they will definitely give in the examination. See, basic electrical engineering is there for the mechanical engineering branch, and similarly, basic electrical engineering is there for the CCE branch. Okay, so ECE also it is there. So in this basic electrical engineering for mechanical. Okay, so mechanical. So the concepts of networks also there. The concept of machines also there. Concept of measurements also there. Okay, so here. Network subject already covered, so we will be having only machines concept and measurements is also available as a another subject. Okay, so I will give you the entire details about basic electrical engineering measurements. Okay, so electrical and electronic measurements. These are all the parts. Okay, so generally this basic electrical engineering for mechanical will be having three different subjects. These are three different small subjects. For us, they have given for the mechanical engineering department. Okay, so first one is circuits. Okay, so basic circuits only they have given basic circuits. Okay, see if anybody has not taken our classes, just just see the classes once. Okay, only once you have to prepare. Not that much difficult. You need to just concentrate. If you have completed the intermediate, some of the basics you will be knowing from this. With that, you have to proceed a little bit. Okay, but they will not ask the small questions. Little bit of tricky questions only they will be giving. Okay, so anyhow, basic circuits is there. So then we'll be having the machines concepts. Okay, so machines concepts. So then we'll be having the measurements. Okay, so measurements. So for the mechanical department, okay, so measurements, electrical and electronic me measurement cities. Okay, so anyhow, you see all the three concepts here. Everything is available for the ECE also. So there is no difference in syllabus. Okay, so for the ECE, little bit extra concepts are there in the basic circuits. Okay, so only this extra syllabus. Otherwise, remaining all are the same thing only. Okay, so in the machines, okay, so what we have to concentrate, I will give you. So in the machines, we will be having four different machine. Okay, so in the machines, four different machines are there. So what you have to concentrate? First, you see DC machine. Okay, so DC machine. So for the DC machine, so remember operation you have to know. Operating principle you have to know, construction of the DC machine you have to know, then parts of the DC machine, so then the different types of DC machine. Okay, so these five things we have to know. Okay, so remember, so the DC machine operation we have to know. Okay, then operating operating principle. Okay, how it is operating. So then what are the principles of that? So then construction of DC machine. So then main parts of DC machine. Then types of dc machine okay so definitely one or two questions will be there from this okay one or two okay definitely one question will be there it's a simple thing okay so in order you can study all these concepts okay so in our classes also we have given according to how much required for the mechanical engineering department that much only we have given okay similarly next transformer okay so transformer so for the transformer also similar okay same Operation we need to know so the last behind the transformation principle, okay? So that we have to know so then construction of transformer, so different main parts of the transformer, then we need to know about the so any three phase transformers are available like that, okay? So generally, types of transformers, so there is no much scope here, only these four concepts are required for the transformer, okay? So next, uh, synchronous machine, okay? So synchronous machine, okay? Synchronous machine. In the synchronous machine also, so only operation, operating principle and construction. Okay, so these three only major things. Okay, so the, these three only they will be asking an exam for the mechanical department. Okay, so these are not valid for the so electrical people. For the mechanical or ECE, so these things are the possible things. Okay, so they may, they may definitely give the questions from these concepts. Okay, so next similarly induction machine. Okay, so induction machine. For the induction machine also, so they will be definitely asking about the operation, 
our operating principle or so we'll be having the construction okay so these three major things okay so for the dc machines only we need to know about the types remaining all are the same thing only so remember so all are similar subjects only okay so once you understand one machine second one you can understand third one you can understand so you don't think it as a different subject okay so you are not studying you are not studied this one before even though you can study this now just small concepts only operating principle if you understand so everything all the parts you will be understanding then principles behind that also you will be understanding okay so in this manner you just study no need to go in depth concepts in in this concept in this uh, machine subject okay so next measurement subject is there okay so measurements electrical and electronic measurements is there so in this uh, mainly they will be concentrating on pmmc okay so definitely question will be there pmmc means permanent magnet moving coil instrument so this is only the voltmeter this is only the ammeter we will be using okay so on the pmmc definitely question will be there so operating principle of pmmc so what are the coils coil present about the springs about the torques present in the pmmc so and what are the errors in the pmmc similarly how to extend the range okay so only these concepts so entirely you will be studying only for 3 to 4 hours in our classes also we have given for mechanical students only 3 to 4 hours we have given so in the basic electrical engineering concepts okay so next after pmmc moving iron type of instrument we need to concentrate actually dynamometer type of instrument also there but they may not give much much importance in our exam but moving iron type of instrument they can definitely give okay so and similarly two watt meter method okay so watt meters are two watt meter method so this is not that much important in mechanical point of view but they may give the question if they want so that's why if you don't want if you want to know this concept just study once okay it's a simple otherwise remember three or four formulas in this one so you can easily get the mark okay so these are the only things so electronic measurements also are there okay like uh, digital voltmeters are there cro is there but they may not give the questions from that so these concepts definitely they will be giving okay and similarly circuits okay our networks concepts are there circuits basic circuits are networks okay so same subject only so basic circuits so in this one so we need to concentrate about the basics okay so basics basics means voltage calculation current calculation power calculation and energy calculation and similarly resistance calculation r equivalent so between two terminals we need to calculate the r equivalent so mostly in five hours you can complete all these concepts okay so in the basics only similarly r equivalent c equivalent l equivalent calculations okay so these are definitely calculation type if you know these concepts, if you if that kind of question is coming, definitely you can able to answer. So that, and you will be getting the correct answer only. If you know the procedure, you will definitely get the correct answer. Okay. So remember, in this one, what you have to concentrate. So how many questions will come? There may be four questions or five questions. Maximum they can give. Okay. So five questions maximum they can give. So if we are lucky, okay. So these are the basics only they are giving. So at max we can get five marks only. But if possible, they can extend the question okay number of questions they can give six or seven also okay maximum we are expecting like only five questions from this one okay so anyhow for the mechanical students see power plant engineering is not completely mechanical subject okay so we need to understand about the generation concepts electrical energy generation concepts how we are doing so we just check our classes if you need similarly basic electrical engineering also we are giving so just to check okay all these three subjects we are giving as a part one part 2 and part 3 we are giving just observe okay so these two subjects i have to, i have given the classes and similarly power plant engineering also i have given so here we need to understand about different electrical loads okay electrical characteristics we have to know okay like load factors demand factor diversity factor okay so and similarly gas turbine power plant so they they won't be asking about the regeneration in depth why regeneration is used only this question okay why intercooling is used only this 
this okay so why this so we are using gas turbine right okay so in between we will be having a different con compressor is there what is the type of that compressor what kind of forces are there in that compressor similarly combustion what are the fuels we are using how it is different from the IC engine so what is the difference between IC engine and this gas turbine power plant okay so and similarly steam turbine and gas turbine comparison uh, similarly hydroelectric power plant and uh, gas turbine power plant comparison okay so how is the load factors how is the diversity factors how is the so the demand for the different kind of power plants okay so these kind of questions definitely they will be asking okay so forget about direct energy conversion okay so they will not be giving a, so direct energy conversion mostly they will not give questions from that but uh, remember hydroelectric power plant thermal power plant nuclear power plant gas turbine power plant in each one we will be getting two questions okay so remember in each one you will be getting two questions mostly from the operating operating on operation only okay mostly from the operation and similarly we will be getting from the parts okay so where is the superheater superheater is between which two okay so through the superheater which is the flowing uh, flowing fluid okay so it may be uh, so the steam will be going otherwise water will be going so direct questions will be there okay so the question may be so lengthy but the answer will be if you know the concept if you know the operating operation of entire thermal power plant definitely question will be there they will not go in depth concepts about this boiler but operation only will they will be concentrating okay so remember power plant engineering we need to understand from the electrical point of view so not from the mechanical point of view okay so they will not ask about different concepts inside their boiler okay so only so the boiling process procedure only okay so what are the inputs we are using and what are the outputs what are the components how the flue gases are flowing how what is what we have to do with the bottom ash so this kind of questions definitely they will be giving from the power plant also okay so remember so power plant engineering we are expecting around more than eight questions okay so if possible they may give 10 questions also so otherwise a minimum of six questions will be there from the power plant engineering okay so power plant engine instead of calling power plant engineering we can call power generation concepts okay so power generation concepts these are okay how power generation is happening okay that's what our focus okay so don't don't get bluff like mechanical concepts will be coming here pv diagrams they will be giving so ts diagrams they will be giving so these are also you you must study but concentrate on generation concepts okay so those are the main things even the gas turbine power plant refer these are all so you might have no okay from your btech or diploma you might have know these concepts but concentrate on the generation concepts and similarly economics of load generation okay economics of power generation economic load dispatch okay so these things we need to concentrate okay so anyhow if you need any guidance or doubt just contact me about these subjects if you uh, because we are not giving completely for the mechanical engineering but for the electrical and electronics we are giving the complete course okay so anyhow if you have any doubts or if you need any test series or any other doubts okay so just to contact us all the best thank you so much